Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Sambaluby video. In this video, I'm going to be trying to fix this really destroyed Game Boy Advance. So, believe it or not, this Game Boy should be sort of this clear color. But as you can see, it's very yellowed. There are a few stickers on the front uh, which match the yellow color of the shell. Now, this Game Boy is definitely definitely one that has been uh, very well used and also very well loved um, I can tell that because obviously the front is so yellowed from where it's been sort of facing the sunlight so someone can play it um, it's just yellowed over time the screen lens is scratched really badly the screen has actually got a slight burn starting on the front I don't know how well you can see that but you can, sort of, you can see the corner there and on the back the cartridge slot is just so scratched and the the shell is is smooth um, it hasn't got sort of like a textured finish like other uh, Game Boys do but it's also missing the battery cover you can see a little bit of tape here so I'm guessing that at some point the battery clasp broke and they've taped it on and eventually it's just fallen off and got lost. But anyway, this Game Boy does not turn on. We get absolutely nothing. So let's open it up and see what's going on inside. Now, usually I would say a Game Boy Advance with no power is probably the power switch has just gone a bit uh, dirty but you usually get a slight flicker of the power LED um, so I'm really not sure if if that's going to be the case now the tops of all of the screws are actually a little bit corroded so that is a kind of a bad sign can you see the top there? Let's lift this off and see what we're dealing with. And, wow, that is, that is really dirty. Let's take <laughs> these buttons out. Yeah, that is... Look, there's no corrosion, but the motherboard is actually filthy here let me get a cotton bud and some IPA look at this it's, it's not even coming off actually yeah it's not <laughs> it's not even coming off the motherboard has just got this this sort of staining all over it it doesn't smell like smoke so I'm really not sure what it is let's just unscrew this and see what the other side looks like we'll be able to tell if this sort of motherboard is maybe got this appearance from factory by if around the membranes is the same color sorry if under the membranes is the same color if not i'm just going to guess that it's probably got a little bit yellowed over time just by the sun yeah yep probably just over time by the sun can you see the difference there that is that's really really bad um shouldn't affect any use or functionality Wow, I think the the D-pad is actually wearing out. The left, can you see the left button there? That is, actually looks like it's starting to wear out. I've never seen that before. Hang on, let me get a cotton bottle and just see if it wipes off. No. It's, Wow, 
Well, the start of select the tidying up. And so is the A and B buttons, but that, that button there is actually just worn, worn down. I've never, never seen a Game Boy be used that much that it gets worn down. Wow. Well, anyway, in terms of the motherboard being dirty, not a lot I'm going to be able to do about that because if it's sun damaged, then it's just well, it's it's not broken. It's just nothing I can do about it. But let's put some IPA in the power switch. And then with my tweezers, I'm just going to wiggle it back and forth. And hopefully, this should sort of clean the pins. And that will hopefully make it work again. Now, the fuse could be blown. It's quite bizarre to have a Game Boy not show any sort of like flicker of the power LED. Also, I am just going to have to reshell this Game Boy. Uh, there's not really any like salvaging, salvaging it. Um, I'll probably put it in a nice sort of blue slash purple shell. That's purple actually. It's not blue. Um, I don't know. Let me get my multimeter and let me test see whether the power switch is working and if the fuse has blown because it's just a bit bizarre to have no flicker so is the fuse okay yep and so basically the, the way the power switch works is when it's in that position pin one to the middle one is shorted and then when we flick it across they're no longer shorted and then pin 2 shorts to the middle one as well so as you can see the power switch is working oh I did on the same one yeah there you go you get the idea the power switch works fine so technically when I put this together it should just work now I'm quite curious to know, is that D-pad button working? Because if it isn't, that is definitely going to be a problem. Because I don't think that's something that I'll be able to repair. Oh wow, look at that. The um, A and B button is actually torn. It's been used that much. Look at that. Anyway, once again, let's just put this loosely back together pop our two batteries in and let's see turn all the sound all the way up just in case it does turn on you know the sound works okay there you go yeah that screen is definitely burnt you you can't really see it on camera um, like you can't see the image but when I tip it down it sort of goes all, all funny. Um, yeah, looking at it straight on or at a slight angle, all the colors kind of go a bit inverted, which is really weird. Um, honestly, I could fix the screen in this. However, I'm not going to for a few reasons, which is one, you can buy them on eBay for like three pound and the polarizer film that you need to fix these is probably like two. So you're spending a pound and having to do, sorry, you'll spend a pound more and you'll have to do a hell of a lot less work. Or you could just buy like a full new one off eBay. Also, it's not worth it, literally because of what I've just said. Um, obviously it is possible, it's just a hell of a lot of effort. If this was a Game Boy Advance SP screen, then I would definitely say yes, repair it, because they're like sort of £20. Um, obviously, 
that's a hell of a difference. But it's just not worth it when it comes to Game Boy Advance screens. Plus, the new shell that I've got here has got a perfectly good screen in it already. And I've got about like three loose screens that aren't in any shell. So let's just reassemble this. Now I'm going to use the original buttons because there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, I'll have to replace the start and select button because they're just too yellowed. But apart from that, everything else in this Game Boy, oh and the screen obviously, uh, is, is good. So yeah, let's mm, just do a time lapse of me reassembling this Game Boy. There you go, that is it fully reassembled. Now I cleaned the tops of the screws and they actually came out really shiny, uh, which I wasn't expecting, but this Game Boy has had a really, really nice transformation, I think, because originally it looked like this with this really yellow uh, plastic. This is probably quite brittle as well, actually, um, and now, we've got this nice new looking purple Game Boy Advance. Now I've got my Nintendo test cartridge here. So if I put this in, you can see sound works, the shoulder buttons work. And if we go down to control test, all of the buttons work as well. Now I have, also tested everything else on this by the way um i don't know what was going on with that the like d-pad button down here because i really wasn't expecting that to work but it did so i don't know what was going on with that something weird but anyway that's gonna be it for this video i do hope you guys have enjoyed i'm really really happy with how this has turned out i mean this game boy advance looks almost new um, it's in really nice condition there isn't a single scratch on the screen lens would you believe that i paid i think it was four pound for the shell screen lens and that came with the battery cover as well uh three pound for shell in this condition screen lens in this condition, the actual screen itself, uh, a really, really good deal. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I do hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know what you think, like how, how much do you think this Game Boy was used? I mean, I paid £14 for it, uh, probably because it's not the best looking Game Boy out there, but now in my opinion it is literally started as this and it's finished as this and weirdly this is by far one of the worst power switches i've ever seen not because it was dirty but because it literally gave showed no signs of life not even a flicker but now that i've cleaned it um like when i wiggle the power switch there's no flicker in the power led at all which is really really rare uh, usually you get a slight flicker but literally on and off every time and there's no flicker in the power LED so I don't know thank you guys for watching comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one goodbye